Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you my beef with the MTG Finance community. It is not surprising that they dislike me and I dislike them. I don't pay money to them via paywall. I don't subscribe to their articles, nor do I listen to their podcasts or do any of that stuff because it goes back to this card. It's Seance. There's another card that I've talked about on my channel that if you watch this channel, you know it's Falia. Falia was under $2 for a very long time. And I have proof. I bought Falia for under $2 for months, maybe even a whole entire year before she's finally got up to the 225, 250 mark. And the biggest difference between Seance and Falia is Falia is actually good and it is now worth almost $16. Seance is still pennies. Like, I mean, it says 50 cents, but I don't know anyone who would pay you 50 cents for Seance unless it was in Bitcoins and it was from an MTG finance person on Reddit trying to have you burn it. So we'll get into all of this later. The, the key here is Seance is not a good card. It's never been a good card. It never will be a good card, but you have all the MTG Finance people buying the card first, they buy the card first, then they hype it. And they hype it by saying, oh, I remember seeing so many tweets, and I used to follow these people, saying that Seance is amazing because it finished seventh place, and then finished ninth place, and the events were like 300 people, and there were no pros at the event. You can go online and research all of it. It's insane how much hype they were putting on this card. And it was all of them. It was pretty much the entire MTG Finance community thinking that this card was amazing and everyone should buy it. You had so many better opportunities on so many better cards at the time. Even Liliana of the Veil when she rotated out was 25. Snapcaster was below 15. You could have picked those up, but instead you're telling everyone to pick up Seance just because you own so many copies of it. And then on top of it, that Redditor with the Bitcoin, he was going to pay people to burn it and he was going to pay $40,000 for a person to play Seance at the Pro Tour, but not even have to win the Pro Tour or even be in a top eight, just playing Seance. He had Magic players wear Seance on a t-shirt for money. None of this helped because the card is crap. I'm going to say this. The only way Seance would be broken is if there's another card. Seance is exactly in the same position that the Dark Depths was in. But Dark Depths hit on it, right? Vampire Hex Mage. Could you have predicted that there wouldn't be a card like Vampire Hex Mage? Maybe. But there's a reason Dark Depths was 25 cents. Now it's like $40, $50 because the combo. So unless there is a card that combos with Seance, Seance by itself is not strong enough what, what's currently out there to ever, ever be worth more than a dollar. All right, so let's talk about this guy and how MTG Finance community like really rally around it. And like, yeah, everyone has their Seances and we're going to make shit tons of money. Clue number one that the MTG Finance community didn't really understand what they were doing is they're not players. So they they don't they're not good magic players. They're not pro magic players. They're not um, two two very big things to know here. If the card is in standard, it's harder to predict its future than if the card has a history graph. Like Force of Will, pretty easy to know that card's always going to go up on total reprint. The same with something like Liliana of the Veil. Or in this case, Liliana of the Last Hope. I have very high hopes for her. But beyond that, for someone to say this deck is going to be amazing in standards, or someone to push MTG Finance people, I think the large majority of them don't even play Magic. If I were to be point blank with you, they probably don't even play Standard. They don't play Modern. They just speculate and buy and buyouts and they join an email list so everyone on the email list buys 100 copies and then it seems like everyone's smart because they all bought 100 copies of a card that no one wants. That they, then eventually they have to buy lists for 
and then made like 15 cents off the buy list. But what they really did was they screwed over all the players because now the card is more expensive, but for no reason other than they made 15 cents a card. I find it interesting. And my biggest beef with MTG Finance is they make money but not the way that you think that they make money. They do not make money by giving good advice because if you knew something was certain, if I knew Filer, I knew that she was amazing and she was at two and I bought all the Filers, I would want to keep her at two. Why? Because that then wouldn't I have a longer time to buy her? That's what's like never discussed is the time, the duration it takes to do to buy the file here. So get a hundred copies of a file here, it might take you a month or two months because people don't stock, not a single vendor is going to stock a hundred. And then you send, you buy some from Puerto Rico, you buy some from just random islands. And you, that's what you have to do to get to a hundred file here. Now to get to a thousand file here, to get to 10,000 file here, I don't even know. I don't even know. Like you would have to do this via like a whole year. Maybe you can get to a thousand or 2000 file here if you consistently did what I did. I got up to 280 and then like it dried up. The price started going up to four or five dollars and it became harder to get because people were not selling them in batches anymore. They were selling them one by one and then it doesn't make sense because shipping then becomes a higher percentage way and I mean people, I was buying single file yards and I was like, okay, this is not gonna work. Shipping is almost as expensive as the file yard, so no. At the end of the day, oh, also, <laughs> Strike Zone Online prevented me from buying the followers from them. They put a limit. I don't know if the limit was just on me or if it was on everyone, but I got capped. So here's a dude. I believe he's a pro Magic player, and he's wearing a Seance t-shirt. Like, you, I can't scrub this from my memory. Like, I was like, hey, I remember a dude who was wearing Seance t-shirt. I wonder how much he got paid for that. So the whole MTG Finance community is promoting this card. They're promoting, you know, burning the card, ripping the card. They're promoting $40,000 to play on the Pro Tour, not finish in the top eight with it. Play it. Just play it. They're paying people to wear t-shirts. And you know what? It doesn't work because the card sucks. Falia, no one's wearing a t-shirt at Falia. There's no pro player who have t-shirt at Falia that I can find at least. There's no people paying to burn the Falias. There's no people paying Bitcoins to play Falia on the Pro Tour. Yet, see almost $16 today. So what is MTG Finance, right? Like if you define it as picking cards that are undervalued today, and they go up in price tomorrow, then file is MTG Finance. But if you say it is picking, is buying lots of one card, then promoting the card, that's what I think most of the community believes MTG Finance is. It's buyouts, right? It's being on a email listserv that tells you to what card to buy, then everyone on the email listserv agrees to buy it, and then the card goes up in price, and then they buy list and everyone makes 10 cents a card. Fantastic, a great utility of your time. And that's my biggest beef. My absolute, and then they, they got to the top of Reddit. I mean, this was viral. Even people who didn't play Magic knew what was going on and wanted a piece of this seance. <laughs> Nothing happened. Nothing. Even before the reprint, the card was still not over a dollar. That tells me there's either two scenarios. A, people are doing this and they know seance is a bad card which would be bad, that would be market manipulation or attempted market manipulation by the MTG finance community, or B, their gauge as what is a good magic card and what's a bad magic card is so off. It is incredibly, just, you have pro magic players wearing t-shirts of seance at tournaments. You have pro magic players being offered $40,000 to play seance. You have people offering a dollar when seance is 15 cents to burn the seances. You have people offering to go to someone to go to Channel Fireball and burn the seances at Ch Channel Fireball. You have lots of money at it. You have all the MTG Finance community owning 100, 200, 300, maybe 1,000 copies, maybe 10,000 copies of this card. And you know what? It's in the same set 
as my favorite card of all time. The one card that I am linked to is Philia. The one card that the most of the MTG communities, <laughs> finance communities linked to is Seance. And how ridiculous that is that, that it's in Dark Ascension. Both cards, at the same time I was telling people to buy Philias, they were telling you to buy Seances. They're still telling you to buy Seances. They're still trying to burn the Seances. Like, it's not going to work. The only scenario where Seance would overtake Philia is if they printed something like Vampire Hex Maids, which just comboed off with the Dark Depths. So Seance would be the Dark Depths, they printed a new card, and it was an amazing combo. Just like, lights out combo. With Assuming that is not going to happen, there would be no point in time Seance would be over a dollar. Market manipulation or not. This is a very interesting case study of people trying to manipulate the market and openly saying they are trying to manipulate the market and it not working because the card that these finance people picked actually turned out to be very bad. It's like, okay, so imagine that you went to imagine that you went to a restaurant and it was a really crappy restaurant. And the food was really crappy. No matter how you, many people you told this food is amazing and how many fake Yelp reviews and Facebook reviews, and eventually someone's going to go to the restaurant, they're going to eat the food and be like, hmm, this food is kind of crappy. Why does it have a five-star review? And then that is where the house of God. Falia and Seance is from the same set. And that is my biggest beef for MTG Finance is they are not... They either A, know what they're doing, and which would be very smart, and they're marketing a card they know sucks, right? They intentionally are marketing a card they own a lot of copies of, and they're trying to inflate the price because no one else wants it. Or B, they really don't know what the hell they're doing. Like, choose your poison. Which is it? We're sounds, right? Which is it? And you can point at other stuff. Oh, they got this right. Okay, here. Here's the MTC Finance in a nutshell. Reserve list cards good, bulk reserve list cards better, foil reserve list cards the best. There you go, that's MTG Finance. Do not invest in standard, do not invest in modern. ED8 is good. Okay, did I summarize the entire MTG Finance, the whatever was behind the paywall? I don't know what's behind the paywall, someone help me. Someone who pays the subscription fee, monthly subscription fee to read articles, Please tell me if that's what they're saying, because if it's not, I don't know what else they could be saying that would be legitimately helpful advice. So that's my biggest beef, and it comes down, and I finally, finally can address it, because Philia, Princess Philia has hit over $15, like she should, like I said she would. I was confident she would hit over 10. I was 100% certain she would hit over 10. You can watch the old videos, and I was pretty, pretty happy if she hit 15, if she can get up to 20 before GP Houston, I can sell her for 10. I'm outing all my failures. I love her to death. Well, I'm outing all my non-altered failures. So I have, I commissioned a lot of altered failures. I love her to death, but at the end of the day, you know, it's time to invest in a new card. And I'll be open with you what the card is. And the card will naturally have a very long period window where you can buy into her. I've already looked at it. And it's not like I need money, so I'm just going to take all my failures, get the cash, and then go to the GP and actually buy everyone out in the GP of this card. I already know what it is. I know in a few months it's still going to be at the price point, if not lower. So obviously it's rotating out. Right? That's a big you know, clue for you guys. Um, I'm going to buy out because I love it. Uh, I love it as much as I loved Philia. Um, it's going to be hard to say goodbye to her, but at least it's not blanking seance. Bye, guys.